Hey guys, what's up? Um, super glad you're able to join with me tonight um, as we do our tonight seven at seven about through the fire. I'm going to open up with prayer. Um, so if you would, bow your heads and close your eyes with me tonight so we can get started. God, in Jesus' name, I pray that tonight would just be uh, anointed by you. I pray that tonight uh, would just be full of, full of learning and full of knowledge and and full of your word. I pray that tonight somebody would get something out of this video. I pray, Lord Father God, that you would come and you would just be uh, be a part of this, be a part of what we're doing here. Uh, continue to be a part of what we're doing here. God, I pray that as, as I make the video, that you would come and your presence would fill this room. And whoever be watching me, you, you would go and you would fill uh, their room, that room. In Jesus' name, I pray that um, you would just you would just be with you tonight, God. That every word I speak would be would be of you and about you. And, and in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Uh, so, through the fire, um, Sunday uh, morning, this past Sunday was student takeover. It was an awesome time. I loved it so much. Um, and we had we had great worship. Uh, we had um, an okay word, um, <laughs> and, uh, and I, I felt like God moved, and it was super fun. I had a lot of fun, and um, I hope you guys did too. I hope you guys have got something out of it. Um, so I I just as you know, if you were there on Sunday morning, or if you watched the live stream, I talked about through the fire, um, and I, I talked about going through fire things we go through. Um, and, you know, and, and then eventually when God pulls us out on the other side, um, right, when, uh, when, when we get through the fire, when we get through and done with whatever we're going through. Um, so I, I just wanted to start off with a verse, um, one of the ones I read on Sunday morning, that was Zechariah thirteen nine, and it says, And I will put this third into the fire, and refine them as one refined silver, and test them as gold is tested. Um, they will call upon my name and I will answer them. I will say they are my people and they will say the Lord is my God. Um, so that, that verse right there, when it's, I, I talked about the 67%, um, Sunday and, and I, you know, gave the example, just the visual so you guys could see what I was talking about. Um, I, I said, you can expect every third person on your road to go through the fire to be tested in some kind of way. And, or unless, you know, everybody in the church, all the Christians are collectively the one third and we are standing in the gap for those who don't know Jesus yet. Right. And so when I when I say that, I, I, I mean it pretty literally, like I don't believe that the things I go through are only for me. I, I don't believe I go through fire. I don't believe I, I go through things and learn things only for me. I, I don't read the Bible just for me. I read the Bible for, for my marriage and I read the Bible for my friendships and I read the Bible for my family and the students at 180 on, uh, on Wednesday nights. Uh, I, I, re, I, I do all these things and, and I, I go through learning experiences um, so that other people can, can learn from, from what I've done, right? So that I can, I can be the hands of feet uh, and feet of Jesus further extended, um, you know, out out into our communities. So I I always I have as you know I'm, I know a lot of people who do. I have a prayer list, a list of people on my phone who I pray for on a daily basis or I pray for on a weekly basis. And somewhere on that list is a couple of family members who don't know the Lord yet, but I'm still you know prophesying and believing for their salvation um, because. Our Lord in heaven hasn't given up on them, and I sure as heck won't give up on them. Um, so I, I pray for them every day. And I, as you know, I wouldn't say that sin is a good thing. Um, we should strive to not sin. I, I do find it helpful that um, I have gone through and been through relatable experiences in my past so that I can, I can like I said, relate and you know level with them on in some way when you know i'm i'm talking about the 67 percent um if if i were to witness to somebody and and they they tell me they were struggling with something and i was I, I had no idea what i was talking about you know you can always give them scripture i'm not saying you had to once be an alcoholic or a drug addict to witness to an alcoholic or a druggie but it because i have been through those things because i have learned 
I feel like it better equips me in a way, and I I can I can tell them you know where I came from and how I dealt with that, um, and 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 now what I have replaced those things in my life with, um, you know, being later down further down in my road, I have replaced you know my fire with the the fire of God, you know, the fire of the Holy Spirit, the fire of God's word, the truth of the the truth of the gospel, right? And I have. Uh, I, I, I pray for the 67 percent all the time. There are people that I stand in the gap for. I, I tell my I ask my kids every Wednesday night um, if if they want to pray for anything, if they have any prayer requests, and it can be either for them or somebody that they know. And we pray for their friends, and we have them stand in the gap for them all the time um, because they they you know they know people that are going to be tested just like we are tested. You know people who are going to be tested. And, and wouldn't it be great is if uh, if they came to us with you know questions or, or concerns on their particular fire and we had an answer for them we had we, we were given, able to give them the answer of Jesus Christ and say hey listen I know where you've been I, I, I've done it you know I read this word I know what God says about me so I'm able to tell you what God says about you um, right and so that you you are the you are the apple of God's eye and all these great things, you know, some things that I mentioned Sunday. And I know I'm hitting seven minutes right now. Um, but I just I just wanted to remind you guys tonight um, that that what you go through your fire um, is is uh, is is not just for you to 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 keep shelled up, right? It's not just for you to keep inside of you. You're you know, it's cliche, but your test becomes a testimony. That's that's real, that's true. You know, your testimony is for other people. Your testimony, your fire just might bring somebody else to Jesus. You know, you never know. So don't be afraid to share that thing. Don't be afraid to share the gospel. Don't be afraid to share the word, um, right? And um, so I'm going to close this out as I'm, you know, hitting my mark here. Um, so if you would, bow your heads and close your eyes again, we'll pray out. God, I pray that we would be able to walk with the boldness and walk with the authority and the knowledge of power that we have so that we could, we could help the 67%, Lord Father God, as you have helped us uh, and continue to help us. Lord, we, I, I pray that we would realize that we don't do these things, that we don't pray and we don't read the word of God only for ourselves. But God, we, we do these things to help other people as well. God, I pray that uh, we would... We would be able to share our our, uh, our testimonies, God. I pray that we would be able to share, um, God, your word and your truth um, to, to help other people who may be going through fire. In Jesus' name, I pray that uh, that you would just bless anybody who would be walking or watching this video right now, or who will watch it. Lord Father, God, I pray that somebody got something out of this. Uh, and God, I pray that you would just be with us as we go throughout our week. In Jesus' name, Amen. Uh, love you guys. God bless.